Gallipoli Centenary. Ceremony to mark Scott's role at the commemorative dawn service has been held at the Scottish National War Memorial in Edinburgh to mark the 100th anniversary of the Gallipoli landings during World War I. About 131,000 troops, some 45,000 Allied soldiers and 86,000 from Turkey, died during the campaign. The contribution of Scottish units was specially recognised. Wreaths were laid, with the service broadcast to members of the public on Edinburgh Castle Explanade. Gallipoli was one of the bloodiest campaigns of the war and the first to involve troops from Australia and New Zealand. The fatalities included about 25,000 British military personnel, 10,000 from France and 10,000 from Australia and New Zealand. After a failed naval attack, the Allies tried to capture Constantinople now Istanbul via the Gallipoli Peninsula by land assault. The amphibious assault started at dawn on April 25, 1915. British, French and their Dominions troops, including soldiers from Australia, New Zealand, India and Newfoundland, took part. They faced months of shelling, sniper fire and dysentery, before abandoning the campaign 45,000 Allied troops died for no material gain, although the Turkish army was tied down for eight months 86,000 Turkish troops died. Commander Mustafa Kemal survived and went on to found modern Turkey Why Gallipoli is still commemorated in Australia and New Zealand on Anzac Day World War I forgot and Anzacs. The Indigenous Army Line Break First Minister Nicola Sturgeon and Secretary of State for Scotland Alastair Carmichael attended the service in Edinburgh. The event was organised by the Royal British Legion Scotland and is part of the Legion's annual Anzac Day service. It opened with a performance of And the Band Played Waltzing Matilda, written by Scottish folk singer Eric Bogle, and the Legion Scotland National Standards being marched across the castle drawbridge. Lieutenant C.